I really like the new setup, guys. It's uh, using the new NVIDIA Broadcast Yourself. Uh, unfortunately, it's under beta, so there's still a lot of clipping. If I do sudden movements, my awesome hairstyle is confusing it. But other than that, I think it works. I, I can't figure out how I could minimize myself a little bit so that I'm like smaller into the corner of the screen. I'm pretty sure there is an option to do that. I just haven't found it yet. Um, but do expect some flickering and do expect some technical issues. I'm still trying to work out the kinks. So I'm making this video more as a test. But uh, it's, it's also because I want to bring you some news. Something that you should be happy about, but that again is 2020 and I've been disappointed so often by so many TV shows that it's very hard for me to get excited. In a way, I don't think that TV shows have died off. Uh, it's not like comic books. But occasionally you, get, you do get like really good TV shows. The Expanse being one of them. Uh, Man in the High Castle being another. Uh, Better Call Saul. I mean, there, there are some really, really good TV shows out there that surprise you in terms of quality. And I hope that maybe Alien can also surprise us in terms of quality because Disney is actually going to produce a TV show based on the Alien. Initially, I would have thought that Alien is about horror and that's pretty much the vibe that you get. It's like some people trying to survive on a spaceship with a invincible monster prowling them. Uh, but then when the second Aliens came out, it showed that no, it can also be uh, action oriented and you can also have the people fighting back against the monster, although ineffectively. So can a TV show based on this franchise maintain the soul of the IP and manage to uh, give something to the old fans? I think yes, uh, especially with the setting they are going. So apparently the setting is going to take place in the not too distant future uh, and it's going to happen on Earth. So I guess it's going to be very cyberpunkish. It's going to have uh, evil corporations taking over. It's going to have um, people being oppressed and abused, not by the government, but by corporations which are now stronger and more powerful than the government. So I think that might have an interesting setting. Although, given the current climate where we are heading towards the cyberpunk dystopia, <laughs> Um, most people within the establishment, especially from Hollywood, they do not give accurate criticisms towards corporations. They try to avoid accurate criticism. But the TV show The Boys actually shows just how messed up corporations are. Able to take absolute monsters of human beings, like uh, Homelander is, and manage to, to shape him into this... Uh, American symbol and a force for good and completely ignoring all of the evil that he does. And given that, maybe we can see some actual um, legit criticism if they try to show how evil Wayland Yutani is into the new Alien TV show. Another reason that I legitimately have to be excited is that uh, Noah Hawley apparently is going to be involved in the Alien show. So uh, the screenwriter for the original movie is going to be there. Whether he can recapture the lightning in the bottle remains to be seen. Uh, but also they want the film's director, Ridley Scott, uh, to be there. And right now they're in what they like to call advanced negotiations, uh, showing that they already passed the um, initial stages of negotiations, meaning that the director wants to work, but now they're talking about salary, they're talking about what he is and isn't allowed to have on screen, that type of thing. Uh, and he also created, I guess, other shows such as Fargo and Legion. Uh, I haven't seen any of them, but um, I don't think they were that successful, considering that they only ran for a couple of seasons, as far as I know. So, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, but... The only thing that I want to point out, though, before I'm ending this, I can't find a single TV show that is horror-oriented. Uh, maybe it's me, and I don't get scared off easily. I think that a movie can really have better ways of setting up tension and drama uh, than a TV show does.
And I don't know what it is, but like I can't remember any TV show that legitimately scared me. It's like, oh no, this this horror TV show is coming back. I think, uh, no, actually, I'm wrong. There was one. Fear itself was called. Uh, and there was another one, Masters of Horror. And every single episode was standalone, completely detached from the main story. It was like very, very small horror stories, and they've managed to do that. Uh, but like uh, Alien, where you have a monster that's just going around for an entire season, I don't know if they can pull it off. But anyway... My point is, this is a nice thing to keep your eyes on. Uh, we're going to check it out. Maybe I'm going to even make some reviews if I like it. And uh, yeah, this is coming in a time where they also announced Starship Trooper TV show. That's, that's going to be a colossal failure in my opinion, simply because they don't understand the uh, ideology and the ethos of that universe, judging by what the critics are saying. However, in this particular case, just to do a quick recap, the reason that I have a lot of hope for an Aliens film is because, number one, they can't exaggerate with the wokeness. I mean, the, the problem with the wokeness is that it breaks immersion. Uh, well, in this case, considering that it takes place in the future, considering that it's in space, they can just do whatever they want. They can have as many LGBT characters as they want. They can just have like as much diversity as they want. Whether if it's in a historical movie, uh, like, for example, the Battle of Troy, when you're casting a black Zeus, that breaks immersion. All of a sudden, people just realize, oh, yeah, this is, I'm watching a movie. I'm, I'm not immersed myself into the story. I'm not really buying this anymore. So they can go full on woke, and it's not going to break any immersion. Uh, everything is going to, to make sense within the lore. And the second reason is that they're bringing people who wrote the first alien and directed the first alien. Um, so that gives me a lot of hopes for this. I'm, I'm really excited for once. Uh, it's going to be difficult for them to fail. That's my point. Like if, if this movie, sorry, if this TV show ends up being a failure, it means that they tried really hard in order to get it not to work. They, they really did their best. Um, and hopefully, you know, if, if you get more shows that actually get popular, eventually like some people at the higher up within Disney, uh -huh. they're going to notice like, okay, why do these shows work and these others don't? Why does The Mandalorian work and Batwoman doesn't? Like this, this is why I'm hoping we're going to achieve if, if we're going to keep supporting good TV shows. Like at one point, an executive needs to start asking the questions and uh, arrive to some answers. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Tell me how you like my new setup, if it's an improvement or not, and uh, I don't know if it clipped or anything. Uh, the sound seems to do a couple of problems, and uh, it, it, clip, it does like a popcorn every now and then. I don't know how to stop that, uh, but I'll, I'll try. I'll keep trying, and uh, hopefully I'm going to, to constantly improve this setup until it's something that's serviceable and you guys are going to enjoy. Maybe even in 4K, huh? The only bad thing is that you can't see the LED lights on my microphone. Like I brought a microphone with LED lights and now I can't show it. Horrible. Uh, then again, maybe when I'll be streaming, huh? And then you can see the LED lights. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the comment section. Take care.